Today we get to go take a look at an IMAX theater in Niagara Falls, Canada. Come take a look at what's left inside. Alright, let's try to stay. this place right now. Okay. Someone threw all the tickets. These are all tickets to the show. Someone came and ripped more of the screen. They're just, yeah, they're just trying to destroy stuff. You could see they were up in the scaffolding. So, you guys can't really see, but yeah, way up there, there's some damage. Now you would enter from that side over there, and you would walk. This is your exit. And you would come and exit right over here. where you would exit. Just like all these displays and stuff. And then when you walk this way, it would be a gift shop. At one point it was National Geographic. And the gift shop would be right here. This whole area. There's actually a video that I found where this is in here. It's like right along this wall almost. Somewhere there. And you can see this is National Geographic, which is pretty crazy. So you do not enter. So that was the exit. And obviously, this is where it would all be. Up there's the second floor. Someone really wanted in here when all these doors open anyways. They're just trying to be destructive. There's probably like 150 to 200 seats in here, which is pretty absurd. Let's go up to the top. The whole place. You can see where the demolition crews started to eat its way into here. That is this. Which you can see they really love to rip the canvas. Doors mangled by the construction crew. You can see people way out there in the parking lot. Everybody. This stuff is crazy. Let's shut the door. But legit, just imagine walking out. Now this screen is six floors by eight floors. So like 60 feet by 80 feet. <laughs> Absolutely absurd. You can tell that they didn't really care because they didn't rip out any of the chairs. 
Didn't try to salvage the screen. They didn't salvage the speakers. Oops. It's kind of hard to see because of the light. They didn't salvage any of the speakers up there. All the lights are still there. They didn't really care. See, someone stole some of the seats. This is new. Someone tried to either go down there or they opened it. So it's a pretty crazy drop if you ask me. Actually one of those bullets down there. up to the top. Whoops. So this is where you would enter from. You'd come out and you would see the screen. There's everything right there. But yeah, come here. This is where the person would be greeting you and asking for your ticket. And then look. IMAX. And over here was a museum. It showed all the people who went over the falls. See? Still all this stuff on the screens. How crazy is that? John Dave Mande. He's gone over twice. There's two of them there. more the people now over here was a concession stand so there would be like probably like popcorn some snacks drinks and over there was like the entrance Just totally ate and yeah. it rained I think last night that's why it's a little wet in here that's like a mop room like uh, and there's the fridge please rotate milk and creamer after each show it shows like all this stuff Here's a super cool diagram of how someone, uh, someone survived. There's air tubes, hard rubber. You must have went over the falls in that, which is pretty amazing. IMAX theater entrance sign. It's very cool. Out of order, please do not use. Sorry for the inconvenience. Nothing's here. Nothing is left. Yeah. It's all been taken. Someone pulled the fire alarm. Which is pretty funny. See how destroyed it got. Night one, this place was pristine condition. Like that screen was fully intact. There's nothing wrong with it. But obviously, a weekend would uh, invite a lot of people. See, here's weird. I think they blasted these doors off. They look like explosion marks. Which is probably Niagara Parks police training that they were doing in here. I 
can hear voices. So now we're going to go up to the projector room. Now by tomorrow, this projector room probably will not be here. Which sucks. Stairs up here. Pretty crazy. Got totally eaten. The first day, all the glasses smashed out. There's a gaping hole in the side of the building. You can see where the hood of the vent would be, just right up there. Go wide. And here's the theater itself. It's absolutely huge. Over there you can see like a soundboard over there would be where the sound for all those speakers in there would be. Just pretty pretty crazy. And there's the parking lot outside. Everyone living their day-to-day -day lives. Okay. Now in here is another mechanical room. It's like a dehumidifier. We believe this is yeah, pretty sure this is where they rewind the tapes back in the day, which is pretty crazy that they still have it even in here. Let's see, projector booth fan, outdoor uh, condenser unit, humidifier, duct heater. That's where all those stuff is. This is probably like an air conditioner unit. Just all left. They didn't care. They came here. Then uh, up here is a ladder. It goes up into the roof. Here is a catwalk suspended above the theater. Just like, how crazy is that? There's like a whole board DMX strobe controller. So these are for lights. This thing is all being held up by welds done at the top up there. How crazy. Down there's the theater. You can see it. Hold up. Right through the room. It's hot up here. This is made out of metal. Look straight down. It's pretty crazy. But here's the whole catwalk. Now this is all the sound from the speakers behind the theater they run and they go right to that projector room. That was just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Maybe this place is haunted. See DMX, this is for sound. All the wiring here, cool picture of a pig. For some weird reason. 
projector lights, and then it goes down another elevator, or down another uh, ladder. Just look at all the dead space up here. Could I at least put something up here? Even an observation deck or something? Would have been super cool to see. This was made over 35 years ago, I think. Something around there. So she's old. There once again. Just a straight drop. Very far. How crazy is that? Let's go back out wide. going to come back to that ladder. Go back down. Back down, back down the ladder. Crazy. is dropping from the roof. I don't hear any footprints, but there's definitely something when I was coming down those rungs. Maybe fell the wind? Not too sure. It's the washroom. They had a red film over top of the light, so it would be red light when it came into this. This would have to all be like a red, a red light room because they couldn't have regular light shining through here, especially with the screens here and the projector. That's actually pretty cool. Surprised I didn't notice that last time. All right, let's go down the stairs. Every one of those stairs, I got like a degree cooler. Now we're back out here to the theater room. It's uh, like a, it's, it's a projector blueprint it's showing the projector. There's the screen, you can see the curvature of the screen. They didn't donate them to a museum or anything. Down there's the Daredevil Museum. Yeah, look, this, this, yeah. They definitely blew the door off the hinges. See how damaged it is? They blew off again. There she is. Someone was ripping the paneling off the wall for some reason.
because they felt like it. behind the screen. Little cubby room. Right here. Look at how crazy it is with the light. It's the first time this theater's ever seen light. Pure daylight before. All the lights have that blackout stuff so it wouldn't affect the screen. Look, this crank goes probably all the way up to the top, probably to crank down the screen, I guess. All the speakers are left back there, I can see them. Yeah. How crazy. Now here's the opposite side, you can see all the power support this place is right here and then the big speakers the back of the screen is pretty nuts crazy some more just power obviously it took a lot to have these big speakers and this screen and everything powered up Someone took the phone, there was a phone here. Bummer. Unless it's maybe down there somewhere. I don't really know. So at some point, they added more because right here, they sealed off these doors. They sealed them off. And then you would have to go through here. And here would be a whole bunch of exhibits. Obviously most of them have been taken out now. Anything valuable at least. Because then over here, so a whole bunch of those stands that would have information like this. See stuff like Niagara Falls, the power of Niagara. This one's the front of us. Seven tightrope walkers um, were known in the 19th century to have crossed the Niagara River. So it's a whole bunch of that with a whole bunch of pictures. A bunch of more just lying on the ground. Four kayakers went over. Or no went through the rapids. The ultimate water, big kayaking. And then obviously you would walk right out here. And this is where at one point was a National Geographic um, gift shop. But then in the later years it just became a regular gift shop. See all the lights hanging from the top. This would be like probably like a back room, maybe. See a desk for something, concessions. See where the little holes are. Hold on. You can see where the holes where you would have your drinks. Right here. Is that? Yeah, it all got kind of ripped away. I think this says visit us again soon, upside down. How crazy is that? This stuff's pretty crazy.
at some point they walled those off from the inside so no one would ever enter those. So you would have to go through this side. As you can see, it's just left. Now we're going through the exit of the theater. Obviously the projector room up there and the screen. Crazy. Okay, so we just came up a ladder down there. Now we're gonna see it, the other side of the projector room. Neon IMAX sign, canopy lights. See all this stuff just left. How crazy is that? That stopped right outside, sorry. I don't know if he's just taking a picture or he sees us. Sees me. He stopped in front for a second. I thought our jig was up, but look, it's just <laughs> carnage. These are like compressors. Plastic tube only, 100 feet. Air conditioner manager's office. Here again, it's just outside. We stepped on some bubble wrap. So again, over there is where the concession stand was, but when you enter the theater, you come right here and there's a screen, but at some point, they like locked these fire doors. I think it's just to prevent people from coming in, but they really bolted them to the frame. It's pretty funny. They really went hardcore with that. There she is. This IMAX theater is currently being demolished to make room for a brand new 12 floor hotel.